Alrighty, friends. So last week we composed rhythms. This week we are going to go to the next step, which is putting it on the staff or choosing our um, choosing our notes that we're going to put it on the staff with. So in front of you, you see notes on the staff. You see the whole scale. Um, our low do is on line one, and we go up from there. This is how it's going to work. Next week, you will be submitting your final composition. Okay? So your draw it is going to look like this. Oops, I forgot to float my face on top. Your draw it is going to look like this, and I've given you some examples, but you're going to have a picture that's got four staves, sets of staves, so eight measures, and you are going to match it to your composition pictures. I will be reviewing your rhythms this week. I probably have already done it by the time you're watching this. And I will let you know if there's any, like, huge errors that I need you to correct. I'll send you a message. But other than that, your job this week is to take that piece of paper that has your rhythm on it, and either above or below, I want you to write do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, or do. Whatever you want that to pitch to be. Now, if you have a rest, any kind of rest, you are not choosing a pitch. The rest goes in the middle of the staff. Let me quickly see if I can. There we go. Okay, I have an example of the quarter rest here. A half rest, you would draw the line on line three and make a little rectangly guy and color it in. You are not deciding what line or space to put that on, okay? Only your quarter note, eighth notes, sixteenth notes, or half note. Those are very specific. If your note is do, mi, so, or ti, it's going to be on a line, and that line needs to be passing through pretty much the center of the circle of your note. The line does not go through stems. Okay, When we're reading music, we look at where that circle is. If your note is on a space, so if it's re, fa, la, or high do, it needs to be clearly between the two lines and not kind of not messy. Okay, And the other thing is, when you get to line three, space three, line four, space four, your stems are going to go to the other side and they're going to go down. So they're going to the left and they're pointing down instead of up. And that just keeps everything nice looking when it's on a staff. Okay? I've shown you all of the notes, your TTs and your tiki tikis, your 16th and 8th notes. All of the sounds need to be one note. We're not going to try and like MacGyver some kind of like, oops, it gets mad at me when I try to do this while I'm recording, a, like an eighth note that looks like this or something. Yes, it exists. It's a thing. We're not doing that. You stick to this, okay? You do these, okay? Same with the 16th notes. Now, if you have two eighth notes that are, you know, up here, even though this is unfortunately not cute looking, the stems both go on the same side and they go down. And the same with your 16th notes. Um, the stem direction is the thing that I'm the least worried about. I'm more worried about the fact that you get the circle of the note where it needs to be um, and that your notes look good. So you have submitted your rhythm to me. Next week when I check grades, when I go through the Nearpods, I will send you a message if there's anything that you need to fix. After that, you are going to, your assignment next week is going to look like this, but it's going to be blank. And you are going to take each measure individually and put it on the staff wherever you've decided you want your notes to be. If you want it on do, low do, you're going to put it on line one, high do, line or space four, etc. And what I would recommend doing is opening two windows and having one window of canvas be your draw it and having the other window of canvas be the picture of the staff so that you can remember where everything is or you can draw it somewhere for yourself. Um, and I will remind you of those instructions next week. 
So this week you are looking to see if you get a message from me to fix something in your rhythm. All eight measures. And then next we and you are also deciding do re mi fa so la ti do what note each rhythm is going to be. Draw it right it above your rhythm. And then next week you are putting it on a staff in a draw it box that then I will see and check. And this is three weeks of a grade, so please make sure that you are you're doing it. If you have a question, let me know. You are my only full-time online class, so I can definitely help you. We can even schedule a, um, a Teams call during your class time on Tuesday if you need. Or I can do them like on my lunch time if you are available and can squeeze it into what you're doing in your regular class time on another day. So if you need help, if you're confused, let me know.